Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf, and it's Five Thrift Store Friday. Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest day of the week, and we are about to embark on another epic vintage toy hunt adventure. So, hey, my name's Chris Burfield. My friends call me Burf. If you're new to the channel and you like vintage toys and you like thrift stores, you'll probably like the channel. So hit the subscribe button. So we're gonna be hitting up at least five thrift stores today. We're gonna be keeping our fingers crossed and we're gonna pray, 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 pray that those vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. What do we got here? Oh, we got some Lego. What is that? It looks like an older box. Three and one. Oh, look at this guy. Hiding out over here in the, uh, oh, this is cool, in the Halloween decor. All right, let's see, what do we got on these shelves today? Oh, we got a Hobbit. Little Frodo Baggins. Got a bag full of dinos. Miles Morales. And here's some sort of Power Ranger Zord. What else do we got? Oh, we got a TMNT shell razor. Looks like it's got most of its parts. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I haven't seen this one before. He's got all this paint wear on his eyes, though. And we got this dino. Oh, there's a Tigger in a pumpkin. Oh, look at this police car. That looks old. Well, there's no date on it, but it definitely doesn't it doesn't look like a new car to me. Hey, it's a couple of twin Marios. Oh, look at the big guy. Hulk smash. There's a Captain America. How much you want to bet he's got paint wear on his nose? Oh, no, he doesn't. Just got paint on his face. Oh, look at this big guy. Oh, wow. That thing is heavy, man. Holy cow. That is a heavy chunk of plastic. Oh, we've got one of those Treasure X dinos. Oh, we got Harry Potter. I've never noticed before that they put games up here. I always thought they kept the games over there. Well, maybe they just moved them. Well, they definitely have lots of toys today just nothing that we really want I wonder if that actually works it's wonder if it's like a remote control a little yellow submarine oh yeah wow look at that dude man i just love all the halloween stuff oh look at this one whoa that is super cool it's like made out of like like stone or something. Oh, this would make like a good Indiana Jones idol. Oh, whoa, what the heck? That is badass. I'm totally picking that up. $8.99, holy cow. I gotta get that though, that is awesome. My figures, I'll figure out who will who go on here maybe some dungeons and dragons figures i don't know but that is freaking awesome what is it wonder who makes this i don't see any markings on it Ooh, dig this zombie <laughs> that's cool oh nice these halloween plush are awesome i like those witches and we're over here in Halloween bucket land. Lots of Darth Vader's. A couple of them, well, I guess a couple of them. We got a Batman, Iron Man. This little dude's neat. He's supposed to dance? All kinds of just awesome masks. You know, if you can find a vintage one of these from the 90s, it's worth about a thousand dollars. Like, no joke. That's what they're selling for. It's crazy. It looks like a pumping heart. 
This one here is still in the box. Shaking skeleton stockade. That's gotta be old. That's gotta be from the 90s. Uh, 2000. Yeah, close. Oh, look. It's a Cabbage Patch doll. Oh, there's a couple of them. What are they asking for these? $6.99, now that's a reasonable price. I've seen them at other stores for like 15, 20 bucks. Ridiculous. Oh my God, how epic is this thing? Is that, that looks like Doc Brown. Wow, what do they want for that? $17, I don't know, I might, I might get that. That is really cool looking. This guy's pretty neat too. He's really heavy, made out of really sturdy plastic. It looks like there might be some sort of US, well not a USB, but some sort of electrical component to him. Whoops. <laughs> Whoa, look at the size of this monster. Holy cow. That is huge. Oh, check this out. Is that a Ferrari? Oh yeah, it is a Ferrari. Is that a Barbie Ferrari? I don't see the... Oh yeah, Mattel. I was gonna say, I don't see the, uh, the Barbie logo on it, but it is a Barbie. Oh, that's nice. We got a pirate ship. I think that's that Ryan's World kid, right? And then we got this. Well, that's kind of a cheapy RC. Oh, that's made out of metal. So I just ran into Jose, and uh, he helped me look this thing up. And uh, it recently sold for forty bucks. Uh, less sold for less than what I thought it would sell for. I thought this thing might be worth like seventy-five, eighty dollars. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to pay $17 for it. It is really neat, and I've never seen one like it. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. Oh, look at this dude. He's like a zombie gnome. Look at this thing. <laughs> that is cool. I love it. All right, so we didn't get a whole lot out of the store, but we did manage to get a couple of scores. I ended up passing on the Doc Brown statue looking thing. Just decided I really didn't need it, although it was pretty cool. But I did end up getting like a zombie, like uh, uh, gnome, I guess it is. Got a zombie gnome. And I also picked up that volcanic, that volcano diorama playset thingy i have no idea what that goes to maybe you guys can help me out but it does go perfect with my guts action figures from 1986 so check it out general sir no we need more gis we need more than ordinary gis we need guts in 1986, Mattel introduced a remarkable toy soldier line known as Guts, which stood out in the market for its unique design and vibrant appeal. Unlike traditional toy soldiers, Guts figures were small, molded plastic men that lacked articulation, meaning they couldn't be moved from their fixed positions. However, what set them apart was their innovative and detailed design. In contrast to the usual uniform green color of most toy soldiers at the time, Guts figures boasted a realistic range of colors and sharply etched features. Each figure was meticulously crafted to include intricate details capturing the essence of various characters and themes. Despite their lack of articulation, these figures found a special place in the hearts of collectors and children due to their visually appealing appearance and imaginative potential. The Guts toy line quickly gained popularity, prompting Mattel to expand the collection by introducing new characters and accessories. These additions created a wide range of interest from military figures to space age characters, allowing children to create diverse and imaginative play scenarios. Although the figures were fixed in their positions, their captivating designs fueled endless creative storytelling and inspired young minds to explore different worlds throughout play. Guts figures also played a significant role in reshaping the toy soldier market. Their detailed features and diverse color palettes set a new standard for visual appeal in miniature figures. This innovation influenced subsequent toy designs, encouraging manufacturers to focus on intricate detailing and thematic variety, enhancing the overall play experience for children. 
Decades later, Guts figures continue to be cherished by collectors and enthusiasts, serving as nostalgic reminders of the creativity and ingenuity of the 1980s toy industry. These figures left an incredible mark on the history of toy soldiers, showcasing the enduring power of well-crafted design and imaginative play. How cool is that little volcanic backdrop? See, I told you it went well with the guts, but I also picked up a zombie gnome. Check him out. Well, here he is. He's really neat looking. He actually takes batteries and I plug some new batteries in him and he doesn't appear to work. I think his eyes light up and he may actually like kind of dance back and forth is what I'm kind of thinking, but I don't know. But I do think he's really, really neat. Um, Halloween's just around the corner and I'll probably put them out with the rest of the Halloween decorations. We're gonna be like the coolest Halloween house on the block, man, because we're gonna have all this vintage Halloween decor sitting in our front yard. But how cool is he? Isn't he neat? I mean, look at the blood. I mean, this guy's been like gnawing on some stuff. You know what I mean? He, there we go, a little focus. We, uh, yeah, he's been gnawing on some arms or legs or gutting someone alive with his teeth, man. He is a gnarly little dude. One thrift store down, at least four more to go. I don't know, we may hit up more than five today, but we're at least gonna do five, but we got at least four more on the books. Off to the Goody Wheel we go. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby. Oh yeah, you know what's up? What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? You got some vintage toys for your boy? about to find out. Well, the shelves look stocked. It's just a matter if it is stocked with stuff we want or not. This guy's still here. I wonder what that goes to. Who's the maker? Who makes this? Oh, it's a Hot Wheels. Oh, look at this. Hot West Cowboy. It's got a Lone Ranger mask and everything. Looks like an older box. Oh, check him out. Oh, look at this thing. What the heck? <laughs> Dino oh wow, he's heavy. He's got like a little Christmas bow on him too. Oh, we got a rubbery shark. It's kind of sticky. Look at this thing. Somebody knitted that. Oh, look at these roller blades. How colorful is that? Oh, we got a hand puppet. Look at this Michael Myers mask. It looks like it's missing some hair. <laughs> oh, check this out. Dang. CD. It's just a CD player. I didn't know if it maybe it was a cassette player, but it's not just CDs. But that is pretty badass. What do they want for that? Oh, 16 bucks. Seems like a decent deal. Got this big old subwoofer right next to it for $12. Well, that was a big fat bust at the Goody Well, but I gotta tell you that um, that speaker, that uh, that stereo with the speakers and then the big subwoofer and stuff like that, that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. If I had room for stuff like that, I probably would have bought it. Maybe not the subwoofer. I don't have any use for that, but that stereo was pretty legit. All right, guys, up next, Big Texas Thrift. Well, let's see, what do we got? Well, that'd make a cool little G.I. Joe vehicle. We got our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, as usual. We got over here, so we got like a dwarf. That looks old. Disney, well, it just says Disney. It doesn't say Walt Disney, so it might not be that old. Oh, looky, looky, my friend Brian. Brian, if you're watching, I finally scored a venom for you brother 
This is the one he's been wanting. We've got another shell razor. But this one is missing most of everything. It is in fact a shell of the shell razor. I feel like I haven't found anything significant in these bags in a while. Yeah. I just ain't seeing nothing. Just a bunch of garbage. So I ended up getting the Venom for my friend Brian. So I got a couple of guys that have told me like, hey, Burf, keep a lookout for Venom figures for me. And I already got a Venom for one of them. The other guy, he uh, Brian, he was actually looking for like this 12 inch figure. So I found it, messaged Brian, and he was like, oh my God, thank you. So I just mailed that off to him today. And I'm actually doing all this, uh, I'm filming all the footage of the in-between, all, all this in-between footage between Thrift Store and me talking here. I'm filming all this today. And uh, so I don't have the Venom figure to do a show and tell with because I've already sent it off to Brian. So, but we got a goodie wheel coming up on the agenda. So let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. <laughs> what you gonna do at goodie wheel number two? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'll tell you exactly what we're gonna do. What you got for me today, goodie wheel? What you got for me today? All right, well, hopefully we can pick up something in here. These shelves at this location have been dry for a long time it's time for a change oh my god like what are they doing with their toys they must be sending them down to the goodwill bins because these shelves have not had anything on them in weeks maybe months this little guy's still here from earlier in the week normally things like this sell pretty quick but not at $150. This thing has been here an entire week now. Nobody's bought it. Man, I really don't know what the deal is with this particular Goodwill, but they have had nothing, like nothing in their shelves for months now. For months. Like, I don't know what the deal is. Like, where are all the toys going? Are they all going to the bins? Are they going to the online auction? Like, is the manager keeping the toys for himself? I don't know. All I know is that there's no toys at that Goodwill and I'm just about ready to give up on it. Actually, I can't give up on it. You gotta look. You just never know. It's, you know, it's any given day there could be something there on the shelves. But we're gonna go hit up an old Thrifty Pants. Thrift Giant. Now, this particular Thrift Giant, I haven't scored a whole lot out of lately. I've picked up a few things here and there. I did get a cool G.I. Joe helicopter out of there not too long ago. So maybe, just maybe, they'll have some goodies for us today. We got a big box here. Let's see. Anything good in here? There's a Power Ranger. But uh, that's about it. All right, let's see. What do we got over here today? There's a Porky Pig. Hey, it's Zerg. Oh, here's another Venom. There's no price on him though, so they won't sell them to you. Let's check it out. It's a little Jeff Foxworthy. It says, try me. Where do you squeeze him at? Oh, it's just not working. Buck 99 for old Jeff, huh? What year is that from? Oh, 2005. I think we saw this here last week too. Well, isn't that different? Looks like an old toy, but maybe like a reproduction of it. Well, I'm gonna pick it up. I collect little toys like this, little wind up toys and whatnot. It's a flipping monkey <laughs> and it's from 2003. It's like 20 years old. It's in great shape and they only want $2.99 for it. So I'm gonna grab it. Again, not a whole lot going on at Old Thrifty Pants, but I did get this monkey. <laughs> and it's kind of funny and it's kind of dangerous. It's like I put some batteries in it and like, well, here, I'll show you. All right, so this thing looks cute and it looks innocent, but uh, its mechanism is kind of strong. And when you turn it on, you really have to get your fingers out of the way pretty fast or this metal bar kind of like clamps down on it. Here, let me see if I, if 
It's got this little push button back here. See, and then like, <laughs> your fingers get like all, ouch, ouch. Check that out. Knock her down, knock her out. Knock her down, see, she's dangerous. Ow. <laughs> it's like your my thumb. Anyway, uh, oh my gosh, come on, come on, monkey. Come on, monkey. I'm gonna nickname it Lil Gigi. <laughs> it looks like the Gigi. But anyway, this is what we got out of old Thrifty Pants. All right, gang, don't give up on me just yet. We got a couple more stores to hit up, and I got a feeling something vintage is around the corner. In fact, the last couple of stores we're going to hit up are both Thrift Giants. So that'll make like, what, one, two, three, four Thrift Giants today? I think that's our, like a our record for me. I don't know if I've ever been to four Thrift Giants in one day before, but here we go. What we got here? Oh, we got a Wolfman plush. Preferred plush. What year is this from? Oh, 99. Hmm. It's kind of cool. Looks like we got some more vintage. That's like a uh, Jack in the Box. And that looks kind of old, too. Well, it turns out this thing is actually a flashlight. How cool is that? Check out that Zerg. Check that out. We've got some vintage Jurassic Park. Oh, that is super cool. It's got like battle damage here. And what's this guy here? He's kind of cool too. Yeah, we're definitely picking that guy up. Okay, so check this out. There's a neat story behind this Stegosaurus. Well, at least I find it neat. I think it's interesting. So when I was at the first Thrift Giant today, I ran into Jose and we got to talking. And he said that he was, earlier in the week, he was over at Thrift Giant off of Harry Hines, and which is like a mile away from this store. And he said that he found a Jurassic Park, a vintage like 1993 Tyrannosaurus Rex, and I forget there was like some other figure he found, but he found the T-Rex, uh, which is epic, and he was telling me about it. I'm like, dude, that's freaking awesome. Oh my God, you know? So I end up, you know, heading over on this side of town, and this thrift giant is a mile away from the one that he found the T-Rex at, and that's where the Stegosaurus was. So how crazy is that, that a group of them ended up in that one location, and the Stegosaurus ended up in this location, you know, it's just kind of wild when things work out like that. Anyway, let's do some show and tell. Well, here is my haul from Thrift Giants. So we've got this jack-o'-lantern flashlight, which I thought was kind of neat looking. We got this 2001 preferred plush Wolfman, the werewolf. So how cool is this thing? Like I saw this thing selling for a good bit of money on eBay. I was actually quite surprised, but he is uh, over 20 years old now. How crazy is that? But he's really neat. I think he's really well made and uh, I'm trying to decide whether or not I'm going to keep him or maybe try and sell him. So we got the, the werewolf and then we got this guy, the big prize, man. This thing is freaking awesome. Now I'm assuming with this battle damage that there was a piece of um, rubber, like skin, the rest of his skin that went over top of that maybe. I'm really not that familiar with these vintage Jurassic lines. Uh, I'm not really familiar with the Jurassic lines in general, to be honest with you. Um, although I do love dinosaurs. But this thing is pretty amazing. It's in such great shape. And one of the things I love about it is that it's got like this soft, like squishy rubber. And then it's got like this skin-like rubber back here. It's got a mixture kind of that hard plastic, soft rubber. I love toys that are like that. Here's the other side of him. But man, this guy looks awesome. And how crazy is that, that Jose found the T-Rex and whatever other figure that is. Jose, if you're watching, uh, comment below and let me know what the other dino was that you found. But this thing is awesome. 
All right, gang, we got one more store to hit up. Let's finish strong for the day. We got some more vintage Halloween. This is from 1998, both of these. This one's obviously busted up though. Uh, this one's got a crack in it. Oh, he's kind of broke there in his mouth. Busted, busted up teeth. I haven't been to this thrift giant in a long time. So let's see if we can find anything in here. Oh, we got a McDonald's glass back here. I have this one already. I don't really want two bucks for it. Captain Crook. What kind of dinos do we got over here? Well, it doesn't look like anything special. This guy's kind of neat looking. It's missing an ear though. Almost feels like it'd be something Power Ranger related. Check out this little Pikachu. Oh, and here's another one. Well, it turns out this little dude right here is selling for like 27 bucks. This one's selling for like 10. They want $5.99 for it, but I think that would make a good flip. Look at this guy. I wonder what year he's from. That's my, this is my favorite Care Bear, by the way, Funshine Bear. Oh, he takes batteries. Hmm. Oh, we've got some Sonic the Hedgehog as well. I better look these guys up. They could be worth something too. All right, so I made a mistake on him. He's actually selling for about 15 bucks. So at $5.99, I'm gonna pass on him. Check out this Top Gun flight dress. It doesn't have a tag on it, price tag on it, but I see them selling for about $20 on eBay. All right, Thrift World. Let's see what you got. I got a bag full of dragons. Looks like one of the dragon's heads popped off though, right there. That just, does it snap back on, I wonder? Let's see if we can flip it around here. Oh no, it just, it's a clean, clean break. Oh, they're not made out of rubber. I thought they were made out of rubber. Well, maybe some of them are. Those are really ornate looking dragons, that's for sure. Check him out. That's cool. Went, uh, I think, three and a half bucks for that bag. That might be worth it just to get him. Let's see what else do we got. There's another dragon. Look at that, uh, that Batmobile. That's different. Uh, at least the Batman's body's there. Just need to snap them back into place. Some Fortnite. Well, too bad the Pikachus weren't worth a little something something because I probably would have picked them up and flipped them. Although I think I could have probably got the Top Gun outfit and flipped it and made a little kiggity cash on it. But hey, I had fun today. I hope you had fun too. If you did, do me a favor smash the like button that helps me out it helps my channel grow also if you enjoyed this video i've got like over 900 videos on this channel that you can start binge watching right now starting with this next video i know you're gonna love it